Hey guys, what's up? Tech Talker here, and today I'm going to show you how to get free Flash intros, like the one you just saw in the beginning, um, from MonsterTemple.com. Now, this is uh, just for educational purposes only, even though I know you will go ahead and do it, but, you know, just, I have to say that. <laughs> okay, so for the following programs, you're going to have to need, so think um, SWF Decompiler, that everything's going to be in uh, description, so just go ahead and go down there. Uh, Mozilla Firefox. And where is it? Okay, I can't really find it. But Adobe Flash, the newest version, doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, open up Mozilla Firefox. Now, I'm not sure if it's only Mozilla Firefox that this works with, but you need some kind of web, um, uh, web browser that allows you to you look at the page source. And by doing that, you go to uh, View Page Source. So just see if you can now before you go ahead and download Firefox. All right, now go ahead and go to templatemonster.com. The link will be in the description. So I'm gonna open it up here. Okay, now once you get to the website, click on Flash Intro Templates. All right. So now you got all these. Okay, sorry, but you can't do the HD ones. You can only do the ones that come up with the little preview box, and you click that. Then it opens up. So I'll demonstrate here. Let's try to find one. Uh, I'm just going to search an author, because I like Blur. He makes really good ones. <sighs> okay, so here's Blur. So let's go ahead and click on this one. Okay, so it has to come up with something like this, not the full screen. So like this. Now go go ahead and go up the view and page source. All right, so now this is going to come up. Go up to edit and find. Now down below, you're going to have to type in on click. Oops. You can't. Okay. On click. And you gotta find the one that has on click in front of an address. Like for example, this will not that's that's not it because that's not a web URL. So you can click next. Still not a web URL. Still not. Still not. Still not. Okay, now right here. Now as you see on click is right in front of a URL. So go ahead and copy right in front of the HTTP all the way down by the three do not copy HTML so go ahead and hit copy there go back here now you can just backspace paste that URL inside the URL box hit dot and type in SWF then hit enter <laughs> okay so now this should come up and that's like the preview box but it's in SWF format which is basically a flash converted video. So basically, go ahead and go with the file, uh, say page as, and save it to anywhere that would be. I see, I saved a lot. Save it to anywhere that would be most recognizable for you. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop, and let's change it to. You can name it whatever. Tutorial. I think I even spelled that right. Make sure it's on SWF movie, not all files okay so go ahead and hit save wait for that to save <clears throat> see I did a lot I was trying to you know testing all different stuff out okay so you go ahead you can exit out go ahead alright exit out of that alright so now you're back here so now go into tutorial right click and hit so think SWF compiler remember you have to first have that program in order to you know do this Now, this does work with the demo, but if you would like to have the full version, then just look inside description underneath. Just, I'll give you the code, but since I already purchased the full version, but I can give you still give you guys the code, it'll still work. Okay, so over here, you click on this and drag it in on the thing that you just saved. Drag it in there. Check it. Make sure those two are checked. Come over here. Check that. All right. So now. Export path. This is where it's going to be saved to when it's converted. 
So go ahead and oh, I'm just gonna save to my desktop again. That should be good. Who cares? Okay. So now I'll just hit export. It only takes not that long, but uh, it kind of you see down below there. It's already done, but up top it it's it kind of lags. Don't worry, but just let it wait until it until that little box disappears. Okay, so as you see, it just disappeared. So don't exit out yet, just in case. Just minus it. Okay, so now you should see a folder where instead where you saved it to a folder that has the name of the file. Double click that. All right, so now as you see this. You got all these different things. You got the fonts, image, sound. So now you basically have the um, the flash video. You just got it. But that has the custom text. And you know, you ha if you want to make your own, you're gonna have to change that. So here is how you change it. Double click on that. Now make sure you have Adobe Flash installed while you're doing this. So double click. It'll load. So skip through them. Just let it load. Right now it's like getting all the fonts and all that different kind of stuff. Now you're gonna get a box that comes up telling you that you don't have the font. Well, for me this happens, but if you do have the font, if you don't get it, that means you do have the font, and that's a good thing. See as it comes up. So if you want, you can select what kind of font you want to use instead. But I don't really care, so I'm just gonna hit OK. All right. So now as you see here, you got everything. But look, company name. You don't want that, so you want to change that. So go ahead up to library and scroll all the way down so you see text. I'll click once. Don't edit the play intros. Those you'll get rid of. So right there is you see company name. Double click on that. You want to change it to whatever you want. So for me, tech talker. And then underneath it move forward with us that's like the little words underneath the tech talker so go ahead change all everything that you wanted to say now I recommend you going back and forth in between the video and your Adobe so then you know what the text like what it's aligned with so that would say tech talker and underneath would say move forward with us so you want to kind of go through there and Make sure you got it all lined up. Go ahead and go back and forth with that, you know, and then that. Okay, so once you're done all that, here's how you save it. Come up to File and hit uh, Export Movie. It actually doesn't take that long. Select the folder you want to save the movie. I recommend you do Windows ABI. Don't do that. That's. But, but whatever you think is right, don't do JPEGs. Those are pictures. That's kind of like a lag, so you want to make it a movie. So then you hit save and it's all done.